It's that time of year again. The sleds are put away, no Daytona in sight, and we're getting ready to put up with the relatives. Before we do, we just want to give you a word from the staff of the Cycle Source magazine. Merry Christmas, you bastards. It was the craziest thing you ever saw, man. Three hookers and a midget, and they were... Oh, hang on, I gotta go. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the office of Cycle Source magazine. Um, of course, we're on deadline here again. Everybody's gone but me, and I get to finish the magazine up by myself. Thanks a lot for that, guys. I appreciate that. They're all out, a bunch of drunken bastards. Well, we wanted to take a minute and just thank everybody for this year. It's been a hell of a year for the magazine, and, you know, with Christmas a couple of days away, we're obviously not getting Christmas cards out, and we're not going to be at parties anywhere because we're chained to the desk. But we wanted to know how much it means for all the readers who support us all year long and all the advertisers who have given us a chance to do this magazine this year. really means a lot to us, so thank you guys. We'll do that. As long as you guys are still here, let's, uh, let's take a look at what happened in the world in the past 30 days. The Cycle Source World Report. Nothing's really changed in the news this past month. No, I mean, really, nothing. Gas is cheap as hell, the election's over, the economy is slow, and there's no end in sight. While I try to keep this cigarette lit and Bush Ducks another one, let's take a look at the news. Dateline. Mexico announces a $1.4 billion anti-drug campaign this month. Yeah, right. Talk about a bailout, huh? I can see them lining up at the border to take advantage of our great rehab facilities now. President Bush is in the news again, not for anything important, but footwear is the topic on everyone's tongue and almost across his lips. This is old news by now, but has anyone asked where the Secret Service was while this cat not only had time to reach down and whip the second shoe, but point and scream before he was subdued? How long does it take to reload a gun in the Middle East? Was it a fit of laughter that stalled reactions, or just that no one gives a rat's ass if Bush gets popped at this point? And speaking of getting popped, how about these damn anti-fire cigarettes? A spokesman from the tobacco company revealed just how they arrived at this new technology. Apparently, they simply removed the gunpowder from the rolling paper. Great. Now if they could just get the piss out of the tobacco, they might actually have something. California experienced a rash of call-offs from their workforce this past month when an unpublicized movement by the gay community incited call-off gay day. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But we were wondering, if you were in the closet, did you have to call off or did you just go to work and not really do anything for the whole day? And how many homophobes drug their lifeless, sick bodies into work so that no one thought they were gay? Not that there's anything wrong with that. It all added up to another confusing day in California, and that's about par for the course, so I'm not sure it worked at all. Not that there's anything wrong with that. A new alternative to the auto bailout was offered up this month. Apparently, the good folks at HBO are willing to provide pay-per-view time to generate the needed funds for the big three automakers. What they've proposed is that the top executives of each company enter a steel cage match and are made to fight to the death. The $20 billion purse will go literally to the last man standing, and the good thing about this is that the money will not have to come from taxpayers. It'll be handed over instead gladly by people who want to see these assholes slap the shit out of each other. So load the kids up in the Chevette, Uncle Gus. The show's on at my house this Friday night. It all makes sense in a country that has more open land than any other, but still imports food. More blue-collar workers with more unemployment. More terminally ill people, but the best medicine. The best drugs, but mostly illegal. The largest government that still gets nothing done. What the hell was I getting at here? It doesn't even matter. Just tune in, drop out, and let them take over. They keep pitching them, we'll keep swinging. Not that there's anything wrong with that. As for you, grab your ankles, Nancy. Here comes the news.